welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, I am Jess, this is my sister Ali, and together we run a flower studio in London called Esme Studio. We make videos on growing flowers and making beautiful flower arrangements with garden flowers. And this week, Al made a beautiful, uplifting flower arrangement with lots of flowers in sort of sunny yellow colours to lift the mood because it's been particularly grim here in the UK the last few weeks. <laughs> it's been rain, rain, rain. Yeah. And um, grey, grey, grey. Very grey, not a lot of sunshine. So, but hopefully, finally, we're at the beginning of March and let's hope for some sunnier days ahead. It's actually amazing because the garden still looks very brown and green <laughs> and, you know, there's not a huge amount of no. colour still. But it is amazing how many different varieties there are, even just a few of each one. Mm. And I think this arrangement shows that. So I used a few different varieties of foliage. First was Nandina, which is also called Sacred Bamboo, which is the foliage that we love. It's amazing. It holds up incredibly in the vase. It's very sort of, how do you describe the texture of the stems? It's sort of wiry, isn't it? Yeah, it's... they're very, they're quite sort of brittle stems. They're actually really good for things like bouquets and buttonholes for events. Sorry, not brittle. I didn't mean brittle because that sounds like they would snap. They're just, yeah, tough, tough. wiry, yeah. sort of very firm stems. Yeah, and they've got, the leaves are very small and very sort of elegantly mm, shaped. And so they look lovely as the base for an arrangement. So I used those and I specifically chose, we've got quite a few bushes, um, shrubs of uh, Nandina in the garden and I went through them and specifically chose the ones that are sort of slightly more on the yellow side um, because they do turn all different colours mm, don't they there's yeah. some red you can pretty much find green. every colour if you're looking yeah. for a colour to kind of weave into a bouquet or an arrangement you can pretty much find yeah every colour yeah. yeah so I went for the yellowy goldy sort of mustard toned um, leaves and then also some silverberry um, Eliagnus which is uh, another great shrub ours are huge now aren't they it's absolutely um, and that some of the leaves are I think it's just because it's been so wet, um, they've turned a very sort of citrine yellow. So I used a few of those and cut them very short because the leaves are quite big, so I didn't want to sort of dominate the arrangement too much. But I just had a few of those in the base and a couple of brambles and the colquitsia as well to sort of um, green up the, the base layer. I used iris reticulata mm. and a few different hellebores. Um, so we have a new one which is called Ice and Roses, which is very beautiful. When the seed pods develop, the flower fades and it goes a sort of greeny, yellowy... Kind of lime. Yeah, they? lime, yeah. pistachio, mm. more, more kind yeah. of pistachio, but like quite faded. Actually, there's one here, I can show you. And the other flowers I used, I had an Iris reticulata North Star, which is a very lovely white variety with a bit of um, yellow in it. Fritillaria radiana, which is a beautiful fritillaria, quite thick stemmed, but has these bells. Again, that sort of pistachio mm. yellowy green. Mm. Um, it's the first to flower as well, it always flowers. Actually, it's really, really early, early this really year. Early. I think most of the time it flowers in March, um, but we've had them in Feb this year, and that's a very welcome sight because the rest of the fritillaria are you know, quite short and they're not they're not going to flower for quite a few weeks. So that's yeah. a lovely one to have if you want a really early fritillaria. And then a few of the smaller flowers. So I had quite a few different varieties of Narcissus. Elka, Jacksnipe, Spuaro. Minnow. Minnow is the tiny, tiny little, yeah. um, with a yellow cup. It's so sweet. I love yeah. those. Yeah. They're really gorgeous. And some Primula for that sort of like hit of sunshine yellow. So yeah, it was fun. It was, I mean, that is the predominant colour around at the moment. Oh, some daffs as well. It is very cheerful because it has been, as we said, grim, grim. <laughs> it's just gone on and on February. The last two weeks is always that really long stretch to get through to March and sort of the beginning of spring. Mm. And... Um, it's been a long haul, but we're we done with it. it now. We're done with winter. We'd like <laughs> to move on now to the next season. That'd be great. <laughs> We've got so many amazing things coming up in the garden, um, which we are looking forward to sharing with you over the next few weeks. Thinking that the most exciting thing next is the hyacinth. They're coming up in the yeah. tunnels, and there's so many amazing, like pale blush pinks and sort of more moving towards purpley colours. Some of them are quite jazzy. Quite jazzy. We might, <laughs> yeah, have a bit of fun with those yeah. in the next couple of weeks. Next week. Lots more Narcissus, Crocus. There's loads coming up, isn't there? So yeah. It's all going to get a lot more colourful. We just need a little a bit of sunshine flowering. to yeah. bring out the flowers. We need some sunshine, yeah. let alone the plants. Yeah. I mean, we desperately need it. <laughs> 
We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to have regular updates from us and we look forward to seeing you soon. See you in the next one.